Oh hi there mates and welcome back to the channel. My name's Jack and I, I took another long break from YouTube. Uh, am I, is anyone surprised? Really, are any of the like three people that watch my videos surprised? <laughs> it's just, I'm, just, just, don't expect consistency with me just at all. Although, this is the one thing that I seem to be doing somewhat consistently and my brain's kind of going all over the place. My point is this, I'm going to start again. I've decided to do a video showing you what I got for Christmas, which I remember I did last year, and second year in a row! Look at that! It's like an annual thing I've actually kept up with, kind of. <laughs> we'll see if that's the story in five years, shall we? But anyway, yes. Um, so quite a bit has happened this year. I'm now living in my own flat, um, so Christmas was a little different this year. Last year I spent it like the entirety of it with my parents and we still did the like um the christmas stocking thing and so this year it's been a little different we spent the morning here and then um sort of one half one in the afternoon uh dad my dad came and took me and craig to my parents house and we stayed there for the rest of christmas day for boxing day and we went back on the 27th in the morning um, so we we still did our like gift giving thing and had the meal, but it was a little bit different. Um, so very different feeling, and I swear it went way too quick. But anyway, I wanted to show you some of the presents I got and share a few funny stories because I've got a couple. Um, I've got my presents kind of around me in no particular order, and if I go through a couple twice, I apologise. Um, firstly, I'll start off with Craig's. Um, now he knows that the career that I want to get into eventually, at some point in the future, when that'll be, I have no idea, is the film industry, or the animation industry. Um, kind of, They kind of go hand in hand. And his first present to me was this book, which is The Art of Aardman, which I think is fantastic. And one of my favourite films to watch now each Christmas is Arthur Christmas, which was done by Aardman. And there's some of the um, concept work for that in here. I'll see if I can find some very quickly, and if I can't, I'll give up and stop. Ah, here we go, I found some. Like, uh, some of the artwork. Hello! Some of the artwork for that, so you've got the, uh, like the reindeer here, you've got Grand Santa over here, being very rude. But, uh, yeah. And I remember, that was my Tumblr notifications, by the way. Um, I remember when I was in university we actually had one of the animators for, uh, who worked on Arthur Christmas come in and talk to us and do a lecture about um, about it and talk about that film before it was released so I'm very very happy with that and I love Wallace and Gromit, I love Shaun the Sheep who's down here um, I liked watching I think that was Creature Comforts, oh shut up whoever's talking to me on Tumblr I know who's talking to me on Tumblr, it's you Char, shush um, <laughs> where was I? Yes. Uh, Creature Comforts. I don't remember actually watching that on TV. I remember seeing the reboot, but um, most of them I have seen on, like, YouTube. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, all the bits from, like, uh, Wallace and Gromit as well, which I really like. I don't, I'm not sure what I thought of the, uh, the newest Wallace and Gromit, but... Uh, to be fair, I have only seen that once. And I remember being quite scared of the first two Wallace and Gromits uh, when I first saw them. Anyway, moving swiftly on, because I, that took longer than it should have. Uh, the the second present that I got from Craig was another book, uh, along the same kind of lines, but this is The Making of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And if you haven't seen that film yet, you need to go and see it, especially if you're a Potterhead, because it's, it's really good. I really like it. Um, and Eddie Redmayne did a fantastic job. And all the creatures in it are amazing. From the trailers, I thought there'd be just a couple in there, or three, four maybe, but there are so many. There's, um, I won't spoil it for anybody, but there is sort of one particular sequence where you see like loads of different magical creatures and it must have taken ages. And I loved it so much. And I'm gonna put that down before I, sh I start gushing movie nonsense. And move on to more. Craig gifts. I need to remember who gave me what. Right, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. I got a lot of Blu-rays from people. Again, movie freak. Love them. That was one of them that I got from Craig. That's Thor The Dark World, which I haven't seen yet. It's the only Marvel film that I haven't seen. 
Um, I have no idea why I didn't see it. I think I was living in Newquay when that came out, and I don't know, we just never really got the chance. Um, but I loved the first Thor film, and I know Ragnarok's coming out, is it next year? Next summer? So I need to see that beforehand. Um, <laughs> one of only two Disney films that I'm missing was at... Sorry, I've got hiccups. Uh, Zootropolis, or Zootopia, as it, as it is for the people in America. It's Zootopia everywhere except here. We called it Zootropolis. And I don't really know why. Zootopia makes so much more sense to me, but whatever, Zootropolis it is. It's not like it makes a great impact on the film. Uh, but I love it. <laughs> now, this next, uh, this next Blu-ray that I got from Craig was kind of funny. Because I got him the exact same one. We got each other Deadpool on Blu-ray. And we ended up switching one out for uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Which I would have shown on camera, but I don't know where I put it. I put it somewhere, it's over over in that direction. But anyway, Deadpool, I loved. And the last Blu-ray that I got was from my parents, well, we got, to be honest, and that was the BFG. Because that was one of my favorite books and one of my favorite animated films when I was a kid. And I think David Jason's voice as the BFG in that one was just, it was perfect. But yeah, the, the BFG's voice in this one wasn't wasn't too bad. Um, I really did enjoy it. And it stays so true to the book. It's so rare nowadays, I feel, to find like um, a movie adaptation of a book that stays true to the original source. And that one really impressed me. And if you liked, like or liked the BFG story, I'd recommend watching that. It's really good. And the CGI in it is absolutely amazing, especially on the other giants. Um, well, on everything, to be honest. And the dream-catching sequence. Again, one of my favourites in the animated film, and Steven Spielberg knocked it out of the park with that, and, that's, and, 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 and I enjoyed it so much, I'm not talking English, but no, no one's surprised by that either. Um, did I get any more presents from Craig? I don't think I did. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Okay, right, you heard this one. Um, this is another, this is a present from my parents, or from... I think it might have been my mum specifically, but th that's a scented candle in a really, really beautiful holder. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring myself to light the candle, because I'm not sure if I'd be able to get another candle in there. Although I could just use it as like a little jar afterwards, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. But it's all sort of sparkly and silver, and I can't decide what it smells like. It doesn't actually say what it's meant to smell like, I just know it smells. But it smells nice, and yeah, I I like it. And with that, I also got this uh, bubble bath, which is, according to this, not listed. Uh, ylang ylang, cardamom, and lavender. Yeah. Oh, have I smelt this even? It's very very nice. But yes, I'll be using that for special relaxing baths after long days at work. Um, oh yeah, I need to share a story about that because I've moved apartments where I work and I'm, I, I've, now, I've now got a much better job and it's much more varied and much more wonderful but that's a story for a different time. Um, anyway, moving along, uh, another present from my parents was this hyacinth plant and it's interesting because there's no, um, there's no soil with it. It's a jar. It's just a jar and you pour water in it and it sprouts out the top. Which I think is pretty cool and I love hyacinths. I love the smell of hyacinths. Um, my mum would always, well not always, but she'd very very often have a hyacinth plant in the living room and trust me you could smell it all over the house. They are so strong smelling. But it's like a nice smell. It's a nice, really sort of springtimey smell. I really love it. Um, and yeah, I'm sort of I'm looking for. I'm not going to. I'm not going to water that and you know have it grow until spring because I'm not even sure it would. But I'm looking forward to it. Apparently, I got the. Well, it says blue, but it looks purple to me. Next, um, I'm going to show you a chocolate orange. There you go. I got a chocolate orange. I got a lot of chocolate for Christmas, as I always do, and I may or may not have, like, ploughed my way through most of it at this point. 
next present I got was a rather lovely little diary. Another another one from my parents. And I'm actually going to use this one because I get I get a diary every single year and I swear I never use it. And the last one was so pretty. It was this sort of art nouveau sort of 1920s looking diary. It was really small. It was only about that size. But I lost it moving from my parents' house to here and I found it as I was going through some boxes a few weeks ago and I thought there's really no point using it now because it's so close to the end of the year but I really wish that I had and this one is really really nice as well it got sort of a popper opening thing and it's quite a sturdy little book so I will actually use this one I promise mum <laughs> but yeah nice little diary um, a present from my one of my brothers was these hair uh, coloured hair sprays, and if you have a look at the colours, hold on, I'll open it. We well, can probably see through the packet anyway, but ah. come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, we've got like um, a really bright ready pink and a blue. I'm seeing a redo of ha uh, Harley Quinn coming up. I don't know why I was about to say Halle Berry, Harley Quinn. I think I'll be redoing that at some point, but like properly, <laughs> hopefully, we'll see. Do I do anything properly? No, I don't, so. And from, was this my brother's or was this my parents? I hope I'm about to get this right. I think it was my brother's put this together. It's basically a hot chocolate making kit. So I've got, <laughs> uh, this is hilarious, I love it. I've got the hot chocolate powder, um, marshmallows, which I've broken into, um, like rainbow sprinkles, chocolate sprinkles, these little hot chocolate stirrers, which basically you s you put that in hot milk and just stir it until all the all the like chocolates melted into the milk. And we've also got um, a can of whipped cream in the fridge. And I think that's it. I think that's it for like all my main presents. I got some other like little bits and pieces as well. Um, mainly food. <laughs> food related. Which I'm not complaining about and some drink as well. But yes, that's what I got for Christmas this year. Um, yeah, tell me what you got for Christmas if you got some cool stuff. And I don't know what else to say. Like I say, I haven't recorded in a, in a little while and I'm kind of all over the place. And I'm, I'm trying to get through this kind of quickly as well because Craig's due back and I don't like recording when there's other people around. I make myself shy. I don't know how. Um, I will update you guys on my life in another vlog. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like rating. And if you've got anything you want to say to me, any comments, tell me what you got for Christmas. Leave me a comment in the comment section below deck. And I hit myself in the face. And if you like, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe and become a member of my crew today. And I will see you all next time, guys. Bye.